body. Subi, yeah? Right, quick, quick vlog, which will probably turn into a long, long vlog. Um, thanks, Paul, for the message and your address. I'll see you on Friday, mate. Um, oh, excuse me, I've only just got in, believe it or not. What a day, what a day I've had today. Went to um, the hospital with Sam. See the specialist, what a palaver. What a palaver. Not going to go on about it, because you already know, but Older Day Hospital, I used to say it was a fantastic place, and believe me, the nurses, most of the doctors, the ones who's not paid enough, brilliant, but some of these specialists, some of these surgeons, went there anyhow. Took us two weeks to get Sam geared up, ready for going. Gets there, the person we want to see walking around in his Jack in his shirt and tie, Mr. Lordy da di da and the other person we went to see, walking around, we had to wait an hour and a half, finally got into the room, saw a totally different doctor, an Italian doctor, so Cathy was happy, because she loved him, she thought he was absolutely gorgeous. Anyhow, didn't know nothing about Sam, all the notes, wrong notes, everything, nothing at all, so what did I do? lost it anyway it was a good job I did because the person we wanted to see who we'd arranged to see who arranged for us to see him was in the next room said person heard me shouting my head off and Kathy had a go for a change good look good to, good, good on you cat shouting my head off going absolutely mad because it takes us that long to get Sam prepared and then the person we're supposed to be seeing don't want to mention no names but his name will come out shortly couldn't be bothered seeing us so anyhow he heard, us sh he heard me shouting he heard me going mad didn't use any bad language didn't use any swearing or anything I, was, I just had enough everybody in the waiting room could hear me everybody on the reception could hear me but I weren't bothered because they're just taking the fucking piss out of my son now. So anyway, uh, he came in, he heard us and he came in and he looked at me and then we won't go into what happened but I really lost my rag, we really lost my rag. So anyhow, turns out it was a good job me doing that. I'm just having a pizza by the way, look at this. Microwave's a bit uh, shitty actually so it's a bit embarrassing but so you can see it. Look at that. Now my pizzas, I had all my own stuff. I just buy a normal bug standard decent pizza and I had all my own toppings on it and everything so I'll show you in a bit. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, yeah, so uh, anyhow, as it happened, uh, everything's come rosy and we finally get into the operation stage with Sam. So I won't say any more. But hopefully, early next year, it'll be going under the knife, which is the last resort. There's nothing else can do. And sorted. Hopefully, hopefully. Now, don't get me wrong, Aldre Hospital is a fantastic hospital, brilliant hospital. The nurses, the, the people, the doctors, they're absolutely brilliant. Not paid enough. But some of these people, these surgeons, just, they just walk around as if they're fucking royalty. So anyhow, this person today who's high up there got embarrassed, got shown up because I've just had enough of it, just had enough of it, even Sam had a go and you don't mess with Sam, he's 6 foot 3 and he's nearly 17 stone and I don't mean fat, I mean big muscly lad, so anyhow that's it. Um, so anyhow we've got that sauce out, we're feeling good about that, um, feeling quite chuffed about it. Uh, Mayor, I saw your phone call coming through earlier on and I noticed you was on, uh, what's it called, um, Hangout. I couldn't join you mate because I was at Cathy's and as you know from the other night her webcam um, wasn't working so she's, she's working on that tonight to sort it out um, and as I say Paul, I don't know if I just mentioned the camera, but Paul 007 Vauxhall, thanks for the details mate, um, I did just mention it actually but I'm going a bit, uh, dementia setting in. 
Uh, yeah, that'd be great uh, on Friday. Looking really looking forward to that. I just hope Michael gets me to your house. <laughs> so, um, hang on a minute. Yeah, dogs are fighting. Yeah, so that's that's all sorted. Everything's looking good for that. Um, Eggnog's just messaged me on Facebook. I don't really go on Facebook that much because I don't like it, to be honest with you. Um, I know I should go on YouTube as more, but uh, I can't be bothered with Facebook, honestly. It, it bores me. And I know it's probably a good thing to go on and that, to get to know things, but I can't be bothered. The only time I go on there is when, when I have to, basically, something important's on there, but apart from that, I just can't be arsed. So, but I do go on there and I'm going to see, see what message Eggnog's left me now, so. Uh, sad day for us tubers because Funk's going away but he has messaged me earlier on to say that he is staying doing videos and things and he is coming on Friday so that's one positive thing but like, like he says he's got to move on and I hope he, I hope he uh, gets everything he needs, I hope, I hope he gets a really good job, I hope his band is doing it takes off, I'll be coming to see you mate if uh, you know everything's sorted out. Uh, he's one person who deserves to get on in life. Uh, he's a really nice lad, as you all know. Unlike some other knobheads who are not. Um, so yeah, that's uh, top stuff, Funk. I hope we can keep in touch when you're back in Manchester, because I think you basically you'd be closer to me anyway. So you never know, we could meet up somewhere. Um, let me just let the summer out, because she's a pain in the ass. Go on. Yeah, so uh, anyhow, had a good day. At the end of the day, we had a good day. Uh, so, uh, last time I did this with a pizza, the fucking pizza fell on the floor and the dogs had it. Right, just, just bear with me. Sorry for my Graham Evans language. Anyway. Oh, let's move that round away because we need it to be looking professional, don't we? You know what Graham's like? Watches all these stupid bleeding cookery programmes. Oh yeah. Black olives, green olives, ham, honey roast ham. Uh, turkey, extra cheese, herbs, garlic, uh, garlic uh, powder stuff, I don't know what it's called. Onions and everything. Nice that, innit? Aye, nice. Peter Glynn, eat your heart out. Anyway. Let me just put that over the, uh, the grill to, because I always like to, I always like the base to be hard underneath. So yes, um, I had a pretty oh, turn the screen round. I had a pretty good day at the end. Turned out uh, turned out turned out nice again, didn't it? Rain and cleaning windows. Uh, yeah, so we're quite happy. Um, so anyhow, um, someone's I was looking at a video today about. Um, the dreaded Google Plus, and uh, I have noticed there's a lot of people gone off YouTube. Gollum's, I don't know where Gollum's gone, I don't know if there's anything, you know, get in touch Gollum mate, hope you're alright, but uh, there's a hell of a lot of people I've noticed stopped uploading, so, um, you know, hope that changes soon. And, uh, come on then. Um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people gone off YouTube. I have considered it myself, but I, like I said, I don't think this Google Plus thing is too bad. Once you get into it, it, it it's it's quite a, you know it's not too bad. It's not brilliant. Like I said before, we won't go into it again because everyone's gone into it. It's getting boring now. 
but uh, I don't think it's too bad the messaging system I've got used to now so anyhow that's my view um, I hope everybody's all right I'm trying to think who else who needs uh, mention about it oh yeah Mr Q Mr Q that song he did in his shed the other day George Farmer was yeah it was George Farmer absolutely brilliant got him into my favourites that he deserves a medal and he deserves a war an award for that that was absolutely fantastic and his ghost even liked it his poltergeist in the shed even liked it so and now I bought myself a Bombay bad boy because I like sometimes I'm waking up in the night just lately and uh, I have a snack so I've not been bed yet for two days because last night I was up all night preparing stuff for Sam to take to the hospital because that's how big a job it is to get in there um, anyway that's it that's the end of this vlog I hope everybody's okay and I shall do one tomorrow I was going to do one earlier on today about something and then time just went by so I'm going to have a few ciders and then I'm going to go to bed so I'll probably be up till about I don't know one o'clock or something uh, and tomorrow well I'll probably have a lie in because I've not been bed since yesterday but well I've had an hour's sleep so yeah so uh, looking forward to the ghost hunt on Friday really looking forward to that and um, I'll see you Funk, you Eggie and you Paul mate and uh, This snuff movie. Um, yeah. Hope everyone's alright and uh, we'll see you later. I'm gonna have my pizza now, alright, some cider. Cheers. Bye! Fucking wank, it's a lot of them. YouTubers are all toss pots, a fucking lot of them. Every single one of my subscribers is complete toss pots.